So epic. Epic quest. If they went to all the trouble of going to the very end of like where they needed to go, like only baby Mario knows where baby Luigi is. Oh, baby Mario, a, he's a baby. He doesn't know shit. No, he just said they have like some sort of telekinetic bond. What? Yeah. I wasn't reading. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I've never read this. Ever. Yeah, I don't think I have either. I've always just skipped through it. Blah, blah, blah. We know how to play. Root do 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 <laughs> You've told me before that you hear that every morning in your head or there's... when you shower. Like yeah, what? there's been some stretches where in the shower I just think do 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 <laughs> Because showering is starting your day. Yeah. We're not reading. Stop trying oh, okay, to trick I'm us Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> when I saw this game in Nintendo Power, because uh, sometimes I would get a Nintendo Power from Blockbuster and it was the most special thing. The specialist thing. I saw it and I fucking hate babies. I hate, hated babies. That's Still right. don't like babies. So I was just like, well, I'm not playing that game. Looks stupid. There's a baby in it. And when the game came out, my mom told me to rent it. And I was like, no, there's a, I don't, looks stupid. There's a baby in it. Uh, and so she just didn't listen to me and just rented it anyway, and I just ended up liking the game. Well, see, that's the thing is you don't play as the baby, whereas that's how I felt about Donkey Kong 3, and I never played it. I don't know what the point is about the eggs, like... Uh, this level is called Make Eggs, Throw Eggs. Right. Well, yeah, I get that point, but, like, Yoshi's not... Uh, he's not female. He doesn't have a female reproductive system. But like he takes his enemies, he swallows them and then puts them inside of eggshells. So maybe that's like a secondary function of the of egg making, right? Like maybe they both have reproductive systems, but only one is functional. Only one functions, maybe. But we don't know that. We don't. Maybe know that. he could produce fertilized eggs. <laughs> that's a good point. Maybe regular blocks look like Mario eggs. <laughs> maybe everything's got eggs. <laughs> Mario lays eggs. Maybe. Oh no. Maybe everything lays eggs. But Mario wouldn't lay eggs because he was just delivered by the stork. <laughs> True. But we don't... I'm, I, are we going to believe that... Where did he come from? Where do babies come from? They're brought Where by does the, this baby come from? They're brought by the stork. Didn't You saw that. You, they, I saw it, but like they're he, brought by the, stork. the stork didn't birth him. No. The stork brings them. So I guess there's like a baby yeah. island. Or maybe Yoshi can reproduce, reproduce with himself. Maybe they don't require... Oh, eight. yeah. Maybe he's asexual. Video games have been my main hobby since I was four years old. You just really stuck with it. I did. You're like, I found something I like, I'm gonna do it forever. I've just always liked them. Always. Yes, Yoshi did Pokeball into a helicopter. <laughs> for some reason... Yoshi can transform in this game. All of his organs reconstituted into mechanic, mechanical system for a helicopter. Get out of here, crunchy boy. Oh, shit. First game I ever played was Final Fantasy. I didn't understand it because there was reading. I just sort of mashed A and I liked walking around. I thought it looked really cool. Then my parents got me Ninja Turtles for my birthday. So on the NES. And I remember my dad showing me how to play it. I think one of the first things I ever learned how to do in a video game is how to cheese it. Because in that game you can keep reloading the same screen over and over again and keep collecting pizza to get your health back. I remember late at night I think my mom had brought it home for from work or something like rented it maybe and my dad was like check this out and <laughs> I plugged it in and it was Mario 3 and I was like whoa and he was like yeah and we just played Mario 3 <laughs> that, at least that's how I remember it and when I say late at night I was like probably 3 or 4 so it was probably 6 p.m. yeah it was like dark out yeah <laughs> for me Mario 3 was my dad got that for my mom for Christmas. And I remember like the yellow box that came in, like the big yellow, almost carton. And we had the, you know, the case, the big brown wooden case for the TV with the dials on the front. <laughs> that when you would turn them, they would go, king, king. <laughs> yeah, we had like, I have one of those in my room. We had like nine channels. And like, nine, that's generous. Yeah. Well, nine channels, but three of them actually displayed yeah. anything. 
that's probably contributes to why Mario 3 is, I think, is like the best game ever made. Well, I played a lot of Mario 1, which I was when I was I was probably three, two to three years old, and I would be like, you know, just like amazed. I remember wearing a diaper at one point. So I was that's weird. Really young. I remember running around in a diaper in uh, kindergarten. But that might be not real. No, maybe it is, actually. Well, you were in, like, daycare. Or, yeah, not before. kindergarten. Not kindergarten. No, no, no. I was way done with diapers <laughs> by kindergarten. <laughs> I remember seeing Mario 1, and then I just didn't have, like, the hand and eye coordination. They would give me the controller, and I would just mash buttons. Yeah, Mary doesn't remember Ooh. diaper age, either. I remember things that my parents said happened when I was, but I don't ever remember actually wearing diaper. Maybe I kind of do. These weird, vague memories. My dad says he remembers because um, his mom screamed at him because he was painting the wall with his filled up shit diaper. I don't know, my dad didn't have a lot of supervision when he was a kid. He was one of those wild children. Like he would be like seven and eight and he'd be running around in the gorge, like fishing and swimming in the whirlpool, like on the very edge. Playing on train tracks. Playing on the trains as they're moving, jumping off of them. And then he almost fell under one once. I don't know what that was about. I, I think just a lot of boys his age were like that. Just like, no, you know, just go outside, do whatever, don't bother me. Yeah, and there's nothing to do. Yeah, that's how it was for for boomers. I hear a lot of stories from people from that generation where they're like, yeah, we would just ride our bikes wherever we want, across, like, all the way across town. I wasn't allowed to ride it, like, on the street. I wasn't, there was a tree down the street from where I grew up, and it was probably three houses down, and I wasn't allowed to ride beyond that tree, or else I'd be grounded. <laughs> I went around the corner once and I did get grounded. I wasn't allowed to ride my bike for a week. Yeah, it's like, why'd you buy it for me? Why'd you, <laughs> why'd you buy me a whole bike if I can't go anywhere? I can ride it up and down the, the street, my my street, not be on the tree, and only on the sidewalk. Should We should have gotten really like passive aggressive <laughs> about it. Just been like, we so we. fun. <laughs> Mary says her mom's oh. friend threw a brick through a greenhouse as a kid to prove it was made of glass. Oh my god. He couldn't have just walked up to the greenhouse and said, hey, it's glass. Wanton destruction when you're a little kid. It's fun to smash. <laughs> it is. Yeah. It's fun to break glass. I never got to break glass. I was too good of a kid. It had a, It was really satisfying to destroy stuff. Well, I'm happy for you. Do you remember anything about your personality as a kid? <laughs> oh, cringy. <laughs> I was always making jokes, always. I thought I was so funny, and I thought I wanted to be a comedian. So where do you think that came from? watched a lot of just comedy and comedy specials and stuff when I was a kid. That was like all we watched. So you think TV made you sarcastic? Maybe TV made me sarcastic. What? Animaniacs. Uh, made me kind of sarcastic. They're really sarcastic. That must have been so annoying for the adults. Uh, yeah. I remember some awkward moments where they were more or less told me to shut up. Oh. I, I would make jokes and p kids in school wouldn't get them. Yeah, me too. And then I'd be like, ah, oh, it's too good for you. I just felt like when I was a kid, I felt like I liked talking to adults and hanging out with adults. And every kid that I knew at school was like Bart Simpson, like smashing the mustard packets on the ground <laughs> level of like, they don't know what they're doing. Yo, she's going to morph again. He mor morphs into a mole that is also a car. Yoshi evolves like an Eevee, depending on what he touches. But the stones are shaped like his own face. I think that's how Darwin put it, right? <laughs> that's how it works. He evolved in, um... Super, yeah. No, he didn't evolve. He would get wings and stuff. He could get wings. That's not, was that evolution? That's not really evolution. He, is this evolution? He like touches some sort of weird fucking box and it turns him into a mole man. I guess. I wasn't a very smart kid. I would make a lot of really weird random noises and... I don't remember that. Well... You know, yeah, no. you do. Sure you do. No, no, they made sense. Kinda. I didn't think you were a weird kid. Probably... I thought you were really funny. Did you? Yeah. 
I don't know. Maybe I was funny to certain other kids. Well, like, I think we, we liked a lot of the same things, so I got your sense of humor. Yeah. But then you were also incredibly vulgar. <laughs> uh, what were some embarrassing situations when you were a child? I don't want to talk about them. <laughs> no. Okay. All, right. All right. I had no shame, so I don't really know. Embarrassing for other people. Maybe I could think of some. Don't mention any with me. <laughs> oh, I embarrassed the hell out of my mom. I was with my mom at the bank, and, and I was just, like, bored. And I would always be oh, an, a little asshole about having to go to the bank because my mom wouldn't leave me at home. She actually cared about my safety, which was super annoying to me. Damn it, Mom. I want to burn down the house. We were at the teller, and there was a plant there, and I was like, oh, let me water your plants for you. And I, like, pretended to spit in the plant. Oh, uh, yeah. I thought that was a funny joke. Yeah. It would make other kids laugh, so why wouldn't it make your mom laugh? Right. Uh, did we talk about the Men in Black thing? <laughs> well, I made a stream. huge comic about the You did Men make a huge... Thing. But did we talk about it on here? No, I don't think so. All right. My dad bought a video camera and he went through a phase where he would just videotape fucking everything because that's what dads do when they get video cameras. He hooked it up to the TV so that you could see, like he would set it on top of the entertainment center. Men in Black was very popular at the time. <laughs> I, I enjoyed Men that. Men in Black was a very popular film at I the time. I enjoyed that movie a lot. And if you had the VHS copy of Men in Black, you know that at the very end, there is the a music video by <laughs> one William Smith uh, called Men in Black. And it has a dance where Will Smith, along with all the aliens, do a dance together uh, in a sort of a breakdown style. I could see myself on the TV, so I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do the dance. And I like did the dance. And, uh, and then I went about my day for the rest of the day. I didn't realize that it was actually recording the whole time. He had been <laughs> recording like the whole afternoon. After dinner, when we're like watching TV, he's like, oh, let's see what the dogs were up to today. Because <laughs> he was trying to spy on the dogs. He's fast forwarding through it and I'm like, I have pure panic. And so like, I got up and I went to the bathroom. I just sort of sat like on the toilet seat, like lid. And I was just like waiting and waiting. It felt like forever. I came out later and uh, they didn't say anything. They didn't say anything. They didn't say anything. Well, who cares? Like, my, it, seriously, like your parents don't care that you dance to Men in Black when you're a little kid. No, like, but you're it's not gonna... like, you know they make a thing about it though, because that's what parents do. They they live to embarrass you. Yeah, it's true. Well, when, you're, when I was a kid, my mom would always tell everything, every little yeah. thing. Yeah, they just tell people things that, like embarrassing things that you do. Yep. They're like, oh, look at this fucking idiot. Oh. <laughs> Can't believe I gave birth to them. What a mistake. That's why when I shit myself as a kid, I was really sick. I was watching a show and I laughed and I just just blasted diarrhea in my tiny whiteies. Oh my whiteys. god. For laughing. From laughing. Ugh. I went, aha. I knew that my, my mom would tell. It would have got around. It would have made the newspapers. It would have made the newspapers. So I took them off, you know, cleaned up. And I went in the basement and I threw them in a corner. <laughs> Oh, God. Years pass. Oh. Years pass. My mom finds them. She laughed and laughed and thought it was really funny. Uh, and then I remember making a comment like, oh, I guess everyone's going to know about this now. And then I could see like her face, her facial expression changed. To, there was a little bit of disappointment. Oh, he feels embarrassment now. I can't <laughs> tell anyone. Yeah. Yeah, they stop existing if they're in a corner. That's all I could think to do. I should have taken them outside and threw them in the forest. In the forest. Fast forward almost 30 years. We're moved into our current house and I'm in the basement. Our cat likes to crawl around in all the crawl spaces and little holes and weird stuff in the basement. He came crawling out of some hole I didn't know was there. Coming with him is a pair of children's tidy whitey underwear. They're splattered with shit. Oh my god. So some other little boy who lived here had the exact same experience as me. Oh my god. Gross. <laughs> and I felt, uh, 
You know, I felt a kinship with uh, the little, children little of today. Riley or Caden. Or little, yeah, a little okay. whatever he is. Millennial ass name they had or Zoomer name. Oh, this is yours. Slots, 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 slots. Come on, I got two cherries. <laughs> Not good enough. This is a bunch of BS. This is a bunch of BS. All right. Yeah, these guys, <laughs> they got a good <laughs> swing. You gotta watch out for those ones. And the catchers will catch him and throw it back at you. Right. It's cool how every enemy is like a little different. Yeah, they're all new. Except for sh shy guys, who I always love. They're so cute. Yeah, they're, I like they're, they're harmless. They're pretty cool. They like walk around on their stilts and they got little shoes on their stilts. They're just they're the, polite. the goons. This is before Bowser employed Goombas. Oh yeah. This is some sort of pre-Goomba. Maybe they don't exist on this island. True. They're not native to the island. Different, yeah, different ecosystem. Do you know how to get up over those spikes? Um, uh, you might need... No, I don't know. This thing will tell me, but I don't want to read. Don't, don't give it that satisfaction. No. Da, 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 da. Even though I hate babies, they have made Baby Mario fun to play as. And he's kind of cute. A little yeah. bit with his little oversized hat. He was... He came with the hat from the stork. He had it all along, always. Yep. No mustache, though. He had to grow that. Come on, bro. Catch it. <laughs> there you go. This game has a lot going on sometimes. Yeah, it does. It gets really hectic. Oh. Mimics child rearing. Your child screaming something trying to kill it. Turn the light switch on. This newfangled contraption. Don't know how to use it. It's called a ceiling fan. What was your worst punishment? Oh, I never got in trouble. I got threatened. Oh, wait, actually, okay. Worst punishment was probably the soap in the mouth. Oh, yeah, you actually got soaped, eh? Yeah, I got soaped. I was rhyming and being funny, as we know, I uh, was very funny. People loved my comedy <laughs> stylings. I saw a ball of Mountain Dew and I was like, Mountain Dew, screw you. <laughs> and then, <laughs> then I got my mouth washed out with soap. Really? Yeah. From screw you? Yeah. Really? Yes. You should talk to your mom about that and be like, why'd you do that? She was probably just sick of my shit. She's probably just like, shut up. Shut up. Child. <laughs> Which, I can't fault her for that, because kids never shut up. No, they don't. Just hold it against her. Yeah. <laughs> that and the cutting your chocolate milk. Oh, cutting the chocolate milk, yeah. Federal offense. That was, that was awful. She was depriving you of experiencing chocolate milk. Yeah. She had to cut the chocolate milk, though. I was gonna get the Beatus. Yeah, child, childhood Beatus. I was gonna get the kitty Beatus. Diabetes. Look how happy they are. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> Mario has a twin? <laughs> yeah, it's Lucario, right? Lucario. Yeah, the Pokemon. That is a Pokemon, right? Yes. Okay. Anything beyond the original Pokemons? I don't, I'm not so too familiar. There's so many friggin' cute Pokemon, <laughs> and I'll never know their names, because I don't have time for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, they don't- it's not for you, it's for kids. <laughs> You had your time. I did. 150 was too many. Even the 150? Yeah. Some of those are shit. <laughs> some, some, they can get fucked. It's like they want- Voltorb. They wanted- Voltorb is- whatever. He just blows up. He's a circle. Um, and he looks like a Pokeball. It's really- come Weird. on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad we don't have an audience, because there's- <laughs> There's Pokemon people out there that would be like, I'll fucking kill this guy. <laughs> What was your favorite childhood oh, meal? Favorite childhood meal. I always loved my mom's shepherd's pie. Of course, pizza was right up there. Can't forget the childhood staple of Kraft mac and cheese and... Yep, Kraft dinner and hot dogs. My mom would make uh, a nice ravioli. <laughs> I hate how that thing gets sad when you take his friend away. Okay, back. he's back. <laughs> Did you see what happened? No, I missed it. Don't even think about it. It's too sad. <laughs> okay. Just move on. Keep playing. Fucking things like that kill me in games. There's this falconer enemy in Castlevania, and if you kill his bird, he just drops to the ground, to his <laughs> knees. 
and just like slumps over. Doesn't even care. You kill him. Yeah, he doesn't try to fight you anymore. He doesn't fight you. You can kill him. You cannot kill him. Maybe, Destroyed me. Maybe don't take your best friend into battle, dingus. Ate, ate that cloud. Slurp. This is the only game where Lakitu doesn't make me freak the fuck out. Yeah, he's... Yoshi can take care of him pretty good. <laughs> what foods did you not like? I don't know, they didn't really make me eat anything I didn't like. They, she just kind of wouldn't make it anymore. I wish yeah. my mom did that. She was like, I'm gonna make it, you're gonna eat it. Shut the fuck up. Well, I also wasn't really like a super picky kid or anything like that. There were th things I wouldn't eat, like pickles. I wouldn't eat Chinese food. Every time they would get Chinese food, they would also stop at McDonald's and get me like a Happy Meal, because I wouldn't eat Chinese food. That's really nice of them. Yeah. One of my friends, he told me he's being a picky kid one time. He wouldn't eat his chicken balls and his dad got so fucking pissed off he put his fist through the TV tray. <laughs> chicken balls went everywhere. Eat your fucking chicken balls! Yeah, that's what he said. He was like, eat your fucking chicken balls! <laughs> he punched through a TV tray. Kid starts crying. Oh my god. <laughs> My mom would let me like try chicken balls and like a little bit of the rice, but I, I wasn't super into it. I felt so bad too, cause we would go in and the owner was always there. He would make a big deal when I would come in. He would be like super excited to see me cause I was like a little kid and he'd give me fortune cookies. This is not racist because I was like three, okay? Or like four. Uh, but still racist, no. age doesn't matter. <laughs> They would have like a huge portrait, right? Do you remember that? Yeah, I don't remember what it was though. I'm was pretty it... sure it was like the, the emperor or like whoever the head of China was. But oh? I, I thought it was the boss. I thought it was the guy that owned the place and I thought <laughs> he just had a really big portrait of himself and I'm like, that's cool. <laughs> but no. It was Chairman Mao or? Uh, no, I'm pretty sure that was like <laughs> the 60s. Oh. Let me see if I can find the portrait. Well, if you find it, you gotta send it to the editor. Oh, true, yeah. Because he'll want to put it in. Yeah, maybe it was Chairman Mao. Because I remember that hair pattern. Yeah, he had like the weird looking male pattern baldness, but like puffy on the sides like Dracula. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, you know what? It might have been Chairman Mao. Anyway, I wasn't racist. <laughs> Point of the story, I'm not racist, even as a child. I'm not racist, I just liked McDonald's, and that's why I almost had the juvie beatus. Yeah, so what did you say when you met your first black person? Oh, God. <laughs> Look at the man with the skin. Ugh. Right? That's what you said. I was also like three or four, <laughs> and we live in a very, we live in a society full of Italians. <laughs> we had like three black people in the city. How are you similar to your parents? How are you different? Similarities, mental illness, dif differences, <laughs> coping with mental illness. Some of the things I say, I'm like, oh, that's my mom. That's like so exactly what she would say and how she would say it. Uh, I have my dad's body type like a lot, but my face is like my mom. My mom is creative. She just doesn't pursue it. She's like artistically creative. So that's where I get that from and then my dad is like meticulously creative he likes projects and stuff so that's where i get that and my dad has this weird like f hella good focus and memory i can do that too for certain things but i did not inherit his ability to do math which is yeah, funny because like... i'm so bad at math but my mom is good at math my dad's good at math yeah but i'm not questions are harrowing <laughs> yeah <laughs> Sometimes they are. I do need to say, when I say mental illness, I don't need, I don't meet my mom's side of the family. <laughs> they are normal. Are they? Yeah, I'd say so. There's no shame in mental illness. She's more normal than me, I would say. On the surface. <laughs> <laughs> this one is, what childhood diseases did you have? Ooh. Shockingly, not the juvie beatus. Diabetes. I didn't have any. I, wait, no, I had measles. Is that a disease? You had measles? What is, what is the measles? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. I was just I know you get a it's like a rash. You get a shot for it, but that's uh is it like little little bumps? Oh no. I've lost our baby forever. Maybe I didn't. What do you remember of having the measles? I remember being going to the doctor and I had like a red I had like red marks and I remember thinking I had the chicken pox again. But like no, it's not the chicken pox, it's the measles. And it didn't I don't remember it feeling bad. 
I don't remember it being a big deal. I had chicken pox twice. I also had this also weird like red mark thing that I went to the doctor for. That was just like some not serious at all thing where you just get these red marks on your cheeks. They call it like slap cheek, <laughs> where it looks like, it looks like you got beat up in the face, like you got slapped. What else? Oh, I had asthma, that was fun. So I had to take an inhaler. It was stress-induced asthma, but they gave me an inhaler to take for a while, too. You do have stress-induced asthma. I do. You probably still do. I do, because I can't breathe when I get upset. I do exercise and stuff like that, and it doesn't happen. Oh. The only time it really happens from exercising is if I'm going up a really super steep hill. Now I only get it when I get mad. If I get really mad, I can't breathe. Yeah, I remember I made you mad. Yeah. Made you so mad that time that you stopped breathing. Yeah. <laughs> only once, though. Uh, twice. Twice? Oh, twice. okay. Yeah. Okay, now we're a train. <laughs> I am now a train. That's what the music says. You're now a train and you're also oh, part, part of a mural. <laughs> now you're going backwards. I stayed up late one night. I, my sleep schedule was kind of fucked. And uh, I like stood up and I looked over to like my left and like the window at the, at the end of the house, like looking in the window at me were like two big red eyes. Oh great, and I'm, I have to deal with Mothman. Like there, there was that thought. And then just as I was starting to actually get scared because I was starting to believe that Mothman was outside the window, I just noticed that, oh, it's a reflection of my computer's on light, which is red and it's like doubling in the reflection for some reason. The next one is what were you afraid of? Chupacabra. <laughs> oh, I know what else I was scared of. What? Mannequins. <laughs> Mannequins scared the crap out of me. Really? Yeah, we went to Sears and I had to, my shoe was coming off. I had to tie my shoe, so I sat down on a little bench. And then I, uh, like, did this slow turn <laughs> to my left. And there was a mannequin, like, looming over me. Yeah. And I, like, screamed. <laughs> it's the year of the Yoshi, it's time to shine. Everybody who knows me knows that I grind. Heavily drop rhymes. Fool, you know the name. It's the new year, we taking over the game.